What's up guys, Ethan Studios here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at a fake Lego Ninjago set that I bought off of AliExpress. Now, if I can remember correctly, I bought this all the way back in like May or June. So I don't fully remember the price, but I think it was around 13 to $15 for this right here. Um, I wanna say it's around 500 pieces, if not a little bit more. A lot of them are just really, really small. And this is supposed to be some sort of like golden dragon mech that can come apart as well. And it comes with a bunch of new ninja minifigs that are basically, this one here is just the hunted suit printed in gold. That's kind of look, what it looks like a lot of the figures are going to be. The hunted suits printed in gold, which is super, super weird. I don't get why these companies print suits we've already gotten in different colors. Um, I don't really see the appeal behind that. Anyways, this is not an official Lego set, obviously. This is not a ripoff of a set. This is the company's own design that they probably just stole from a mock builder or something like that. That's what a lot of these shady companies do. And look at that. We got a trans yellow uh, a jade blade right there. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, a lot of these designs are stolen. Um, but I was just so curious, I had to buy it. Of course, all fake pieces. They're gonna be awful quality. This is gonna be a complete pain to build. I don't know if you can see these instructions, but they're just one big pamphlet. Um, I'm not looking forward to this, but I hope you enjoy the blue background. It's something different for today. And I'm gonna be speed building this and then reviewing it. And of course, taking a look at these awful, awful minifigs. So you're gonna to wanna to stick around for all that. But without further ado, let's rip open to these and begin building this awful set. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you all and tell you all that building this right here may have been the worst building experience I've ever had with these knockoffs um, and even just plastic building blocks in general, just absolutely miserable. The, the instructions are so incredibly jumbled. I mean, look at that. Jumbled and messy and hard to read. The pieces themselves are so stiff that they'll stick together and they won't wanna move. Um, and this is probably less, probably about a hundred pieces right here. And it took me almost an hour to put this thing together. If this was a regular Lego set, 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20 at most. Um, so this took about four or five times the normal amount a Lego set should just because of the, the instructions and the way the pieces work. I'm really tempted to just call it quits here and just end the video because this was so miserable. Um, also, the build is horrid. I don't know what this is. It's just terrible looking. Um, but I bought this for a reason. I spent money on it. I need to make this video. Um, so I'm going to take a break, and then I'm going to come back and build the next one. And I believe this is the smallest out of the four builds. So, yeah, wish me luck on this, guys. This J minifig we'll take a closer look at at the end of the video. But... On to the next build. I don't think I can really overstate how much I dislike this building experience here. It's really just the instructions. I mean, they're cramming so much onto every page. It's just giving me a headache, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish the rest of this off camera so you don't have to continue to watch me suffer. And we're gonna skip to that when the build is done and we can take a closer look at it. So here we go. And just like that, this set is all built up. This is the Lloyd version of the dragon with two heads. It's very much similar to the J1, just some small differences here and there. And this thing is beautiful. And by beautiful, I mean awful. I don't think this design looks very good at all. I don't like how all of the dragons are like standing on their claws. Like that's like, me if I was standing on my fingers like that. Like it just looks really, really goofy. Um, and I have a little surprise while I was building this, or I guess I should say right after I finished building this, I actually went ahead and built another one of the dragons. This is the coal dragon right here. And I did something different with this one. I didn't put any of the stickers on just to see how it would look. And there is kind of a noticeable difference. This is visually just more appealing because it has more going on. For some reasons, Coles has these yellow feathers. I don't really know when yellow's ever been a thing for coal. Um, 
but these are knockoffs. This one looks considerably worse than Lloyd's in my opinion. I don't like the wing design and just this random flame at the back of the tail is quite strange. I love the jade blades right here though. I think that's really cool getting those in a trans yellow, even if it is a ripoff piece. Um, I might use that for just for some Ninjago stuff, give it to the characters. I think that could look kind of cool. But with these two done, it means I only have one more dragon to build. Um, and that is the Kai dragon right here. So without further ado, I am going to show you uh, a speed build of that one because I skipped the coal. So let's get right into Kai's and then I'll finally, finally be done. I can't wait. Let's get going. This is actually really funny. The seller accidentally included two of the same Kai bags with the minifigs. So I'm going to get two of these terrible Kai minifigs and see if there's any difference between them. I'm actually really intrigued if the quality um, varies from figure to figure. So these are the two Kai minifigs side by side. The one on the right has a slightly better face print. Um, it lines up with the mask just a little bit better than the one on the left. But overall, these are both still pretty poor quality. I mean, the paint on the masks literally looks like it was painted on. It doesn't look very good at all. Um, but really interesting that I have two of these. Um, just an extra fake minifig I can destroy. So that's pretty exciting. honest I actually quite like this build compared to the others there's not really a place for Kai to sit so he kind of just has to lean on the build like that but this feels the most like an official Lego set just with the way the wings are put together um, and the claws actually sit on the floor instead of it standing on its claws like this dragon over here um, Tail's a nice build. Overall, this one is a lot better than the others. The heads are still pretty terrible, don't get me wrong. Um, and the instructions, again, awful as well. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a look at all the minifigs together, and then we're gonna combine these into the large dragon mech. Um, very interested to see how that works. So let's go ahead with it. So included in this set, we've got Jay, Cole, Kai, and Lloyd respectively. I think these are really, really strange. These are the official hunted suits from Lego, just copied onto pearl gold torsos here. It looks really, really strange, but I guess it's cool that it's something different from the norm. Um, Jay is probably my favorite, just because none of the blues match. I mean, he has dark blue on his torso and legs, and then Nia's aqua color on his headband, and then kind of like a just regular bluish... Uh, transparent color for his swords here. I think the coolest part about these is that they all come with transparent katanas in their ninja color. Um, again, might throw those on the normal ninja at the end of this video and show you what that looks like. Cole is pretty great. Um, absolutely phenomenal. Perfect minifigure. This is so much better than Lego. Um, <laughs> Kai and Lloyd are okay. Lloyd's is really interesting because the paint is splattered onto the mask. Um, again, just highlights the terrible quality. Jay's mouth is kind of sticking out. Cole's mouth is sticking out just a little bit like that. Overall, these are really bad minifigs, as you would expect. Um, it's fake. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know what you would expect from these other than terrible quality. The prints are not that great. The colors are a bit faded, a little too oversaturated in some areas. Um, but let's get a quick look at all of their faces, because those are really, really funny as well. So I think Kai's by far is the funniest out of all these. These just bulging eyes with that giant smile makes for a really cursed, creepy, but also hilarious looking minifig. Jay just looks like he has no brain cells. It's very funny. Cole's is probably the best looking one. Lloyd's would be really nice for a hunted Lloyd minifig without his powers, but the eyebrows aren't printed brown. So unfortunately, this is inaccurate. Would have been really, really cool if those eyebrows were brown because then this face could be used for hunted Lloyd customs. But, oh well, uh, why am I surprised? Um, I shouldn't be. These are these are awful. Let's go ahead and move on to that dragon combo build. I'm very, very excited to see how that works. Okay, so here's all four of the dragon builds together, and I really should have seen this coming, but in each of the instruction booklets, we just open it up here. You have to literally tear apart the dragons to be able to build the mech here. And you have to do it for each dragon. You have all these building steps to go through. <sighs> There's no way I'm doing that after how difficult it was to build these dragons. They really advertised it as something that could just be 
form together like a transformer. Um, I think the idea that you have to take all these apart to build the mech is, is terrible. Terrible marketing, basically lied. Um, again, why am I surprised? I should have seen this coming. Um, what I'm gonna do is kind of just mess around with these guys here and see if I can form them into some kind of mech together just on my own um, without following the instructions. I think that's kind of a fun idea. So give me just a little bit of time here. I'm gonna mess around with these guys and I'll be right back with what I come up with. So here's what I came up with. This is the fake Ninjago Ultra Dragon is what I'm calling it. I combined elements of all four dragons together into just one giant cursed looking dragon right here. We got the uh, Cole's dragon head, Lloyd dragon head, Jay dragon head, and Kai dragon head. So we got all four heads on there. We got wings from each dragon incorporated, Lloyd's Kai's, Jay's, and then Cole's just has a wing right in the middle there for no reason at all. The legs I tried to make look as funny as possible. So we got claws on the front. One of them's twisted backwards on the back here. Um, multiple body segments. So this thing has like three different body <laughs> segments for no reason. Um, one, two, three, and then we got the tail on the back here. Um, overall, I'm actually pretty happy I was able to throw this thing together. It probably took me about 10 minutes. Um, this looks way cooler than the mech they advertised. Um, I was going to say on the box, but this thing is so cheap it didn't even come with the box. Just all the bags were thrown into a bubble mailer. But yeah, that's what I was able to come up with. These are all of the horrible minifigs that came with it. I've been buying, a, not buying, I bought like a big, a big shipment of fake Ninjago stuff earlier this year. And I've been reviewing them throughout my throughout the past couple of months on my channel here, so I'll link those other videos in the description. But what I'm gonna be doing very, very soon is destroying all of this you see right here and all of the other fake minifigs and sets that I bought in one big destruction video. So stay tuned for that. If you have any suggestions on how you wanna see things destroyed, because I'm gonna be doing it a couple different ways, uh, my favorite one is fire. I can't wait to burn some of this stuff. But if you have suggestions for any other ways you want to see this awful stuff destroyed, let me know down in the comments. Again, thank you so much for supporting these videos, watching them all the way through, liking, commenting, subscribing. It really helps the channel and helps me to be able to keep buying stuff like this for your entertainment. Because, come on, seeing all this horrible stuff right here, that's pretty entertaining, right? <laughs> Anyways, thank you all once again for watching, and I'll catch you in that destruction video. Stay tuned, everyone.